Samsung Notes and Evernote are two popular applications. Both are available on Android at least. How both differ? The video covers Samsung Notes versus Evernote. So, let's get started. Starting with the platforms, Samsung Notes is offered on Android and on compatible Windows 10 devices. The desktop software is available, which supports all the Windows 10 powered devices, but it does not sync with the mobile application as Samsung has not developed that software. Evernote is a popular multi-platform note-taking app. The app is available to download on mobile, desktop and browsers. It's a free app and it limits the number of features and platforms in the free version. The web tool of Evernote is called Evernote Web Clipper. It's an extension for Chrome, Firefox, Safari and Microsoft Edge. You can use the clipper to save and annote web pages, PDFs and articles. The clipper is free for basic use. So what's on the interface? Samsung Notes uses a simple design by displaying all the notes on the main screen. The application supports the dark theme, but it does not come with an option to enable the dark mode manually. It detects the phone's active mode and applies the theme. You can search for notes and text within notes, and you can sort and multi-select the notes. The app uses the traditional Android style left menu where you find everything. Moving to Evernote, it's not as simple as Samsung Notes, but that's because it has more options than the competitor. You get all the notes on the main interface with add a new note button down the bottom. You can search for notes and text within the notes. Let's move to the tools both offer. The easiest way to compare tools is to show them in a table. Take a look at this table. The text in green shows that the opponent does not offer that feature. Both support the rich editing tools and you can attach images, audio files and more. So what sharing and exporting features do you get? This round goes to Samsung Notes because the app offers both sharing and exporting features. Evernote only offers sharing tools. With Evernote, you can share the note with the view, edit and invite permissions. The action can be completed by sending an email or a link. Regarding exporting, it only supports sending the note as an email. You can also print notes on the desktop version of application. Samsung Notes on the contrary allows creating a shared notebook which can be shared with other users to collaborate. It also offers to export notes. The users can export in SDocs file which can be opened in Samsung Notes including the PC version. The app also offers to export the notes in PDF, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, image and text file. Moreover, you can print the document straight from the application. Those features make Samsung Notes a powerful application. Other than mentioned features, there are a few tools which both offer. Samsung Notes offers to open up a note page to draw when the pen is removed from the Samsung Galaxy Note devices while the phone is on standby. It allows importing notes from the phone, Samsung account and Google Drive. And finally, it allows importing and editing PDF files. Evernote on the other hand comes with a separate dark theme option, comes with over 65 templates for better note keeping, allows Google Drive integration to preview Google Drive links and automatically saves the contact details of the captured business card. So what's the pricing model? Samsung Notes is a free application, but Evernote isn't completely free. The free plan limits the displayed features. You can use two devices at max. You get 60 MB monthly upload limit, 25 MB of the note at max, offline access only on the desktop version, and limited sharing and integration options. The premium version is offered in two variations. The individual premium plan costs $10 per month, which enables unlimited devices, 10 gig monthly upload limit, 200 MB of note size, offline access on both desktop and mobile versions, and extended sharing and integration options. The final team-driven plan costs $16.5 per user per month and offers some extra features alongside some team-focused tools. So, which one is for you? If you want the free stuff on your Android device, then Samsung Notes is for you. There is no doubt, 
that it's one of the great note taking applications. I would suggest using Evernote if you have multiple devices and want to sync the notes as you go. Samsung Notes is powerful, but the fact that you can't take your notes with you all the time, regardless of the platform, makes me a little bit worried. Anyway, that's all in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope the video helped you find the perfect application. There is nothing more important than real user feedback. So if you have time, please share your views about both in the comments and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.